And welcome back to Karawa Shoujo episode 7, guys. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I just wanna do something really quick. Um, options. Disable. Alright. Yeah, I, I had to, like, check whether it was disabled in the first place. Looks like it was not, so thank goodness, guys. Okay. <clears throat> I am having a sore throat right now, so yeah, it's my sore, my throat is not really good. But I, I really wanted to play some Karawa Shoujo for you guys today, so here I am. Um, so I'm the first person in class today, although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer the time with Kenji. So options as well. The music's a bit too loud. All right. What happened the last time, you may ask? Um, some stuff, some stuff. We helped Rin with painting, we, we uh, went running with Emmy, we talked in the bathroom, both of us naked with Kenji. It was really, a, really, really, really just weird, okay? So I'm just gonna keep playing, guys. The combination of fatigue, frustration, and boredom starts making me feel very tired. I black out for a second, waking up when my head hits the surface of my desk. Rubbing my forehead, I realize this is as good a reason as any to stay up for now and stop coming to class so early later. Eventually, I hear a tapping noise outside in the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears in the doorway. She's not in this class, so she must have some other business. Maybe she's looking for Hanako. Lily stops at the door, looking hesitant as if she was a vampire who can, can come in unless invited. I consider doing so because she looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps in on her own accord though. After straightening her skirt and shirt collar as if it was of importance to look prim when entering a classroom. Excuse me. She calls into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. I realize the silence might unnerve her because of her blindness, so I break it. Good morning, Lily. Hey, Sal. Good morning. I didn't hear you come in. I wonder if she thinks it's suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely if I were to tell her to a bigger lie now, it would sink me. Well, I was already here, just asleep until now. Oh, have you seen Hanako today, by any chance? No, she seems to come in only just before the bell to spring, or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange, but I think we're the only two people in the school right now. I didn't hear anyone else on my way here. I shouldn't have gotten up so early today, I guess. <gasps> I tried to make a yawn noise, that was horrible. You're ch ch chastising yourself by doing something that other people should? Punctuality is a good thing. I think so anyways. I think so too. It's a very busy morning today. The festival is coming up soon, and today is the deadline for event re registration, budget reports, and any other official paperwork. It could be that everyone is trying to complete the necessary forms at the last minute. Maybe that is why it's so quiet. Whoa, my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was too big. That was too loud. Hi, hi. Misha pops into the room with Shizun as of this is on cue, shouting with a loudness that makes Lily visibly fit flinch. Hi, Hitchan! Hey. Look, it's the class representative! Hello! Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha's or Shizun's use of the word look. Good morning. Of course, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right? I'm not. Lily seems a little more guarded in the answers to Shizun than she was with me the other day. I guess they really don't get, get along to, at all. Then I realize that Lily might actually not know Shizun is present, and she's trying to detect whether or not she is, to know who she's talking to. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha, but knowing she and Shizun are practically inseparable, true. She might expect Shizun being the one that actually talks. Damn, how complicated. I decide to help Lily out, for my own peace of mind more than anything else. You're here early, Shizun. You're here even earlier than us. Misha puffs out her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? Does she feel emotions on Shizun's behalf too? It's not that weird, though, that Shizun didn't like my little comment. 
It's true, I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that could definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Especially to Shizun, who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to God's intent. Before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizun has already moved on. Class rap, it's a good thing you're here, we have to talk. The festival is coming up in three days, right? Every other class has already handed in their projected budget reports for the events, even the first years, except you. What? <laughs> okay, that was a bit weird. Give me that. <laughs> that was still weird. Okay. There's still time to hand in it. Hand it in, isn't there? Today, the deadline is today. You're certainly taking your time, aren't you? If I had it my way, I've had. All of the necessary paperwork days ago, when someone had to say the deadline, please extend it. Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task, and a week is too small a time frame to expect a whole class to work on such a complex issue completely. Do you want to know what's harder than distributing the funds for one class event? Handling the same matter for every class in the school, and, and then some. The one who does that is me. Misha puts her hand on her hips and stands up straight while she's really getting to the role. Lily doesn't look like she's very amused though. Hey, Shizun, aren't you being a little too hard on her? There's still a whole day left. Please, Hisao, it's alright. Lily seems happy I'm taking her side, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she can take care of herself. If this is about the budget, then I'm disappointed you think. I have forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. Then, can I have it, please? She isn't. She might not have it on her at this exact second. It's not here right now. I asked two students to take care of it for me. Students from my class. She emphasizes the last sentence to my surprise. She knows about Shizun and Misha's effect to roll me into the student council. I guess the word must have gotten around. So now she's using me as ammo against Shizun. This just gets better and better. <laughs> it's as if I'm enjoying the drama or something. It was your responsibility. The budget report isn't something you should just be delegating away. As class rep, it's your job to be on top of things. The kind of disregard for proper procedure is really just terrible. They completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to school and give it back to me. If you want, I will apologize on their behalf of our getting sick. Okay, <laughs> Amisha. Although Misha misses Lily's little jab entirely, she isn't doesn't, and she seems torn be being between being offended by Lily's daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Lily, don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know? What could they possibly have pre that prevents them from taking five minutes off their busy lives? To drop off something that will affect the enjoyment of the entire class? Lily opens her mouth to say something, but she then closes the gap between them and starts standing furiously, waving her hands around like an orchestra conductor. Misha tries her best to convey the same passion, but can't seem to lose her normal cheerful tone. The result is interesting and somewhat surreal. And what's with all that attitude? I said that it is not something you should be delegating away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? Tell me the names of those two students that should have your job if you can't handle this something, something this simple yourself. One form isn't the full extent of what I'm supposed to take care of. Lily's tone is growing slightly impatient, but she's doing a good job of nothing le not letting Shizun see how unsettled she is becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Shizun, on the other hand, wraps her finger cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can neither hear nor see how excited she is. Of course, you do so much, class rep. It must be so difficult being you. Lily tightens her lip at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them even though Misha delivers them without even a hint of the sarcasm which they were meant to have. Can Misha not understand these kind of things? Like, I feel like Misha's like, I mean, maybe her, her, like, she's really cheerful and stuff and her EQ is really high but her IQ is not that high. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just that like, she can't really detect stuff like that. So. Shizun and Lily don't like each other, that much is clear. Oh, oh, wait, uh, just to interrupt, oh, Misha's just like holding back because he doesn't want to be involved in Shizun and Lily's argument, she's just trying to speak on Shizun's behalf. But this seems a little much, it seems like Lily has had enough and is ready to push back. Ooh, hello. 
Oh, oh, that was loud lightning. Oh, look, oh, okay, that was inappropriate right there at the bottom right screen. I was actually just discussing the big budget report before you came by. You must be very talented to have finished all your student council duties so quickly that you and tracked me down to make sure I don't forget my own. Are you accusing me of slacking off? You seems like you're confusing me with yourself. I don't think so. This would be a very difficult thing for me to do, comparing myself to you. You're right, the difference between us is like heaven and hell. And it's not that hard to guess what, which one you might represent. You snap! Snap! The air between them ripples with the heat of their enmity. Well, not really. They can't disguise it anymore though. Even Misha looks like she's beginning to understand the real nature of this conversation. Like, like, see, you put Misha as a litmus test. Like, you, you, you are acting as a Misha is like your, your dependent in, like, this experiment, you know? <laughs> Look at Misha. Poor Misha, man. Hey Chan, don't you slack off either. Wait, why me? What are you talking about? Aren't you taking part in the festival, Hei Chan? You are, aren't you? Then I hope you're going to do a lot more to make sure it goes smoothly than this person. I don't understand why she's just getting mad at me. So, so right now we're supposed to either agree with Misha and Shizun, or cut agree with Lee. So I'm gonna agree with Lee first. Hey, I'm the new guy, remember? It's not like I could have done much, even if I wanted. That's right, you shouldn't expect a transfer student to jump right into it on his first week. Lily taking my side feels oddly comforting, so I decide to back her up too. Yeah, you're being unreasonable with us both. Excuses, excuses. Miss Classrep has had pretty plenty of time to deal with her report. And we repeatedly offered you a position to help the student council work, but you refused to commit yourself to making a fe the festival a success. Yeah, but as I said back then, I'm not sure if... I don't have time for this right now. No matter what I do, it will mean being drawn into a confrontation with Shizun. That is what she wants. Whatever, forget it. I turn my back at them. Lily, class is going to be starting soon, so we can talk more later. I'll tell Hanako you were looking for her. I can feel she isn't freezing. Maybe this is the first time she has ever been ignored in such a blunt manner. Thank you, Hisao. I'll leave now then. She gives me the sweetest smile I've seen all week. And turns on her heels to make her exit. I feel like that smile is not sweet. Like, innocent sweet, but more like, oh, you took my side and I feel so, like, like satisfied sweet. Oh, no, satisfied smile. As soon as Lily walks out the door, I suddenly still start feeling reluctant about turning to face Shizun. I can feel her eyes burning. Sorry, give me a sec, I'm gonna do something. Give me a sec. I'm not really sure how long it has been, but I didn't have my clock on, so I'm assuming it's already been 20 minutes around there. I'm not sure though. Maybe 15? In the end, I go back to my seat and listen to the sound of Shizun's footsteps as she marches out of the room. She doesn't return until a few minutes before class. Hanako doesn't come to the morning class at all, leaving her seat looking empty and lonely in the back of the classroom. Yeah, my soft is really bad now. <coughs> really dry also. I have to tell her that Lily was looking for her if I see her later. After the, the events of this morning, class is pretty boring in comparison. <laughs> I turn the pages of my textbook later. Seriously, the music is really loud. Okay. I have a bit of catching up to do, despite trying to keep up with my Sundays at the hospital, but I'm not feeling that enthusiastic about it. The clock at the front of the room sounds unbearably loud. The teacher hasn't said anything in over seven minutes, instead opting to cover the board in rows and rows of equations taken directly from the book. The rhythmic clashing of chalk on blackboard seems to synchronize perfectly with the ticking of the clock. I start to copy down the equations just to pass the time, even though they are right there in the textbook. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry because I have nothing to do, so I stay for a while reviewing what we covered in class today. I prefer to leave last anyway, so I don't have to do with crowding in the hallways. Looks like I'm quite introverted. 
I know this, she's an Emisha, I have also stayed behind, talking to someone from another class. She's in shining so fast that her hands make noises like swords cutting through the air. Maybe there has pent up anger from there. Misha is trying desperately to keep up, but it's clear she can barely manage to even understand. Poor Misha, man. Poor Misha. I put my head down. When, whatever they're discussing, it looks like serious business. She's on shine to the point where her wrists crackle, and Misha struggles to spit it out in word form. Sometimes she strips over like she's dealing with tongue twisters, and then on top of that, she has to sign back and every, anything that other girls did. Seems like a rough job. It is a rough job. I bet it is. Misha looks tired like she's about to faint. Oh, I feel so bad. Luckily for her, this business is soon finished and the girl sits down there and it's like, oh, I'm so tired. She's hanging her head limply on the desk, looking exhausted. I use the opportunity to wake up some and she's in a bit. Without, without getting roped into the student council thing again, though I suspect that door is not close to me. Festival preparations might be tough for you. Indeed, the pers- people in the school seem to be talking the festival very seriously. Whenever I see people idling around before and after classes, they always tell me about their plans for it. It's kinda neat to see everyone being so enthusiastic about it. Probably the only one who doesn't have something to do. She just scoffs at me first, as if trying to decide whether to ignore me or sneer at me. But in the end, she starts signing without doing either. Misha perks up looking at her hands with slightly unfocused eyes. She signs with harsh, heavy, dramatic strokes. Misha translates her signing into speech for me. She does it so well, it's almost like she isn't actually speaking, transmitting her thoughts directly through Misha. She must have practiced it vigorously. Well, of course we're in the student council, you know, so we're pretty busy. It's an important duty of ours to ensure the success of the festival with all our strength. Look at, look at the difference between these two, like, look at the difference between her and her, and you can see what I'm talking about. We will shame ourselves in front of the past student council's generations of the festival with the fifth. That's why there must be no flaws, no, uh, I think it was encumbrances, no, nothing that might make the festival short of profit. What's encumbrances? No idea. She's a passionate speech and Misha's enacting are really oddly fitting of them. Oh, hello? I look over my shoulder and see Hanako peering timidly into the classroom, most of her body hidden behind the door. Hey, playing delinquent again? Hanako blushes hard at Misha's straightforward jab, even if it was only in jest. Oh, poor Hanako. Why you gotta be so hard on her? She then stares at her prom- probingly, causing Hanako to look down and start backing away to the point where only her fingers can be seen wrapped nervously around the edge of the door. <coughs> Maybe she's showing a dislike of Hanako by association, sh- association of her dislike of Lily. It appears so, and Hanako probably knows it as well. What is it, Hanako? H- has Lily been here? Sorry, haven't seen Sato. She uh, came by in the morning, though. Hanako keeps looking uneasily at Shizun, who stands back at her with her unusual steady, steady gaze. What is she trying to do? Of course, Shizun isn't going to look away, and she's intimidating enough as it is, so I can only imagine how terrified Hanako would be. It is a little uncomfortable watching Hanako's reaction to Shizu's normal behavior. This is what happens when two people of two different extremes meet, it seems. Do, do, do you know where she is? If she has any sense in her head, she's in a classroom working on a festival project. But who knows where that woman is loitering at? You need to find her? She was looking for you in the morning, but I guess you have missed each other. She waits a little without answering the simple question, looking awfully like she's not sure if it's proper to answer such a question. Y- yeah. I can come with you, if it's okay. Hanako nods fractionally. Still on guard, her shoulders stuff like, stiff like wood. I get a feeling that she might be more comfortable by herself after all, but it's too late to back off now. She has this really troubled expression she seems to wear almost constantly, one that makes me constantly be on guard myself. I wonder why. I kind of understand why she's always seems so wary, or maybe more like why there could be a person like her. But I still have no idea how sh- I could act around such a person. It's dinner time soon. Were you were you planning to eat with Lily? She nods slightly, so she must have been trying to get in the cafeteria. Well, there's something of a dinner crowd, just like the cafeteria is crowded during lunch. It's not as bad because dinner time is longer than a lunch hour, but I can understand why Hanako could be discouraged from going in. I pick up my bag and we take our leave. 
Hanako skips a little to me by initial pace, so I slow down to match her speed. It doesn't take long for us to be walking at a comfortable pace down the hallway. It almost feels like we're going for a stroll together, something that I can say I haven't really done before with the girl. Hanako doesn't seem to be thinking the same thing though. Even though we are walking at the same pace, she never comes with arms reach of me. I guess she's still a little com uncomfortable around me. Given how shy she is, there doesn't seem to be much help helping it, at least for now. By the time we arrive at the cafeteria, there's not much of a crowd there, but Lily is nowhere to be seen. And Hanako's head sinks ever even lower than usual. Paid, paid by numbers. Nocturne, that's what this music is. Have you looked somewhere else already? J just at the library, I was, I was reading. So she does spend the classes she skips at the library. Ah, so not exactly a thorough search then. Well, if I had to guess, she'd be in her own class like she's in Sid, right? R right. With the sliders or not, Hanago agrees with my reasoning. <laughs> she's being so awkward. It's like I need double layer silk gloves with padding to even begin interacting with her. Some small talk might help her become a bit more used to me. It isn't hard to tell that the silence between us is hovering on the edge of, our bo of both of our minds. You and Lily usually hang out together after class, right? Yes. I'm not quite sure what she I expected from her answer, nor why I even asked the question. That much was rather obvious after all. She doesn't seem like the type of to cultivate a social circle either, so I suspect that Lily might may well be her only friend. Alright, so guys, um, I'm back. You're probably wondering what happened, but basically, Fraps takes up a lot of space when I record Minecraft, and OBS crashes whenever I record Minecraft because of the Windows update. Don't know what happened there. So, I ran out of space while recording the, the episode. Now I'm back here, so I'm gonna have to do this again from this area onwards and I believe I am about 18 minutes in so I'll do about 12 more minutes must be a pain being in different classes I'm guessing she gives a sharp almost reflexive nod compared to Lily's careful thought about her actions and speech Hanako hastens to make her answers as prompt and short as possible Lily she comes by the classroom though even when she's busy she gives a small smile as she says it Evidently appreciating the fact that Lily goes out of her way to help her. It's pretty cute really. There isn't any need to say more, both of us are content that the discussions reach an end. As we ascend the stairs back to the lobby, we are met by a group of students. Let me just turn up the music. Uh, he heading downstairs like a school of fish moving from one feeding area to another. They seem to be keeping mostly to themselves. Before I can notice her doing so, Hanako has moved around behind me. Hey, are you alright? Just keep going. The students pass us without as much as a second glance, and Hanako takes her position to my side again. As we enter the building, a momentary reprieve from my anxiety all but snatched away. Even as we climb towards the third floor, she doesn't seem to relax. It isn't as if I've known a shy person before, or even shy girls. But Hanako seems to be a pretty far beyond what I call normal in her fear of the other people. If it weren't for Lily acting as a mediator, I doubt Hanako would have ever been able to walk beside me like this. She seems to be completely shut down in the presence of others. Yeah, that's that's kind of hard to um, live in a world where if you completely shut down in the presence of others, because that's what uh, that a society where we live in, where we're like thought to work together and you know be with uh leaning on each other back each other's backs like it's gonna be hard for someone like that to live in such a world so the rest of the walk up to Lily's classroom continues in strange silence while i rule her inability to socialize at all after we make up our make our way up to the stairs the noise coming from Lily's classroom is audible from halfway down the hallway that's my dog by the way <laughs> again <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I think she stopped barking. Okay. I wasn't expecting such a din at all. Well, I guess we found her. This wasn't hard. Did Hanako come here first then come to me for backup, I wonder? Well, if that's true, then at least she's starting to trust me a little. That can only be a good thing. Like, to me, I don't know if that's the case. Like, it could be, it could not. Like, I don't know why they included it in the game if they... 
Like maybe if I chose Hanako, okay. You got you gotta stop barking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Like I wonder if you choose Hanako then she'll tell you Um whether that happened or not. Eventually the two of us reached the door to class tree too. With Hanako less than suddenly positioning herself behind me. I opened the door. Inside is a tiny activity. Seemingly every student in the class talking at once as they were very young. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering, at first, like the first page of the this was the how, 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 how to put it. By the paint cans, decorations, and banners being made, it must be for the upcoming student school festival. I guess my first priority should be finding it. Yeah, finding her among the things of high. Okay, you gotta stop barking. Oh my gosh. Finding her among the things is surprisingly easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more time she barked. I'm gonna go downstairs. <laughs> Slaughter her soul in three bits or pieces of stuff. <laughs> With a couple of students gathered around her, she stands at the corner of the house. She, she seems to be in charge of the decorations, or at least busy organizing them. Carefully negotiating a path through the various students who can work for a less lack of their space, urge her hand entirely out of habit as we pick up any question. Alright, she puts her hand up as she breaks up. Okay, I'm gonna rip my pieces. I'm gonna be back. Alright, I'm back. I scored her and then I typed this. Um, yeah, I just wanna talk about the so I'm just gonna talk about this. Yeah, like, the, the reason why. Yeah, okay, it's a. Uh, I'll leave the music off. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, what's so special about, like, games like these? Because if you think about it, like, reading a book. It's either like first person, second person, or third person, and then in literature class we learn that, uh, or I learned that, um, you can split certain different uh perspectives up. So like third person, you can split it into, I believe, um, omniscient and uh, what's it the other one? Basic. Oh yeah, limit limited, not limited, omniscient. I think, and then the last one is like, uh, intrusive. I think, and the the how it works is that. Uh, third person limited and not limited. The difference is that uh, third person limited is usually focused still on one character. But however, this this game is in first person, right? And um, however, the narrator himself is commentating, which I, I am the narrator right now, and I'm commentating on his story while he's looking at first person. And that's not usually the case. Usually, when the narrator uh, gives his own opinions. It's either because he's in the first person or he's in the third person, I think, intrusive or omniscient. Um, but it's never the case where the, the narrator is looking, giving his own... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's like as if it's third person limited but it's first person at the same time. And I'm probably confusing you, so let's just continue. <laughs> She puts her head up as she opens the door. She puts her head up as she breaks up talking to a little spoon smaller than her must be on glass and trying to listen as best as she can. <laughs> sorry, who? <laughs> ah, sorry, his sal. I have Hanaka too. Hi. She's pretty skittish, considering the number of people around, it isn't hard to work out why. Lily takes a moment's pause to assess the situation before turning to the other student once again. For a moment, just ask Maria for his advice. Can just do this with him together. Can just? What? A quick nod and she bounces herself off the biggest company, sliding along the wall space for orientation. Wait, Kenji? That Kenji? I quickly turn about, leaning to the side to see if I was 
sure enough, in a corner of the room, a confused hands over a sheet of crawfishy pastry. So, I'm bumping a lot. His eyes remained only inches from the brush, reminding me of how close he had to be to make up my face every time. Sorry about that. The class doesn't have many students with even partial eyesight, so they are high tonight. That's right. Class 3 2 was especially for students with poor vision. Preparing for the festival must be pretty hard. Which is why I chose to cut some slack on the edge of style on the hand, I could be thinking of it is maybe hard to cook up too. The chance to set her mind was something to do with it, and I thought she had encouraged her to right. She was still not in a permission at this point, so I'm confident I'm in the right way. Then it gives a note that I should make a simple sign of the Ah, that's good. This might actually get finished before everyone goes off to dinner now. Should you be able to have the best of everything that means better? It's a great task that you can do. Nobody else can help. Can you? Sure. She seems to find that I can't really break up. I take it to the back. Our rooms in the dorm are right next to each other. Hard to miss each other, really. Oh, it's good to see you getting here so fast. Friend, I wonder if that's the right word to use for her. Hanako's silence during the proceedings reminds me of the reason I put her up to help me with this. We'll go help him then. He knows what he's doing, right? That's right. Just ask if you have any comments. Crossing an ascent. A a ascent. <laughs> Hanako and I begin another trek across the classroom. Kenji sits crouched on the floor, his gaze fixed on a white calico in front of him. Hey, Kenji. No answer. He continues dragging his pencil brush along the large half pencil can. Kanji. <laughs> I get it. Let's sketch on the seat of pencil. Kenji. Huh? What? Who is it? This is the way he treats class members. It's no wonder, no small wonder he's working on this room. It's me, his out from. Oh, right, right, I know that man. What are you doing here though? His dismissive attitude annoys me. He must be the type to get really focused on his work, hating to be disturbed by anyone until he's done his post. But we talk, the sound of Hanako's footsteps as she walks out from behind me reminds me that she's here. I was just going to help the better, Hanako and I, that is. Hello. Oh, uh, hey, I guess that's okay. As soon as Hanako enters the equation, his demeanor takes a complete about face. He started full hospital hospitality, so kind of like that. Oh, right, woman. A second thought, this might not be a great idea after all. Hanako and I grudgingly set ourselves down on the opposite side of the cloth, and I don't know why they zoomed in, but okay. <laughs> Kenji, noting the several small paintings on the ground around it. Like, I'm wondering why they zoom in, it's because like maybe we're squatting down now and we're getting to the work, I don't know. Class 3 2, noodle stall? You guys selling noodles on a festival Sunday? Yeah, some stalls on Sunday or something. <laughs> or something, his non-committal nature sparks a fair amount of suspicion on my behalf. The task at hand comes first though. So how do you want to split this? We do borders while you do the text? Or do you want to meet the switch and do the borders? Text is mine, you do borders. He has surprisingly strong feelings on the topic. As I reach over to grab my brush, I notice Hanako's already debating between colors to use. If only we had a written right now. <laughs> By the time I put the brush to cloth, she's already stuck on a delicate pattern. Looks like my idea of taking her mind off of everyone around her works. With a dark blue stroke, the three of us finally get to work. Not before Kenji takes advantage of Hanako's working to lean towards me and whisper conspiratorially. Conspiratory. No, why can't you stop? Oh my gosh. Okay, man, why are you here? Hanako just wanted to help, some help finally do that all. He finally disapproves of my move. I wonder why. I get it. It looks like I misjudged you. You're infiltrating them, aren't you? Going deep undercover. <laughs> no. I should have guessed. I think the truth said by him would probably be better than outright lying or annoying me in any case. Is that why you're here? Obviously, it sucks, but there's no better way to get into it than going in yourself. We gotta stick together, man. This is a harsh school, a harsh school. Yes, very harsh. He misses my true meaning as he leans back, satisfied I'm sympathetic to his cause. I better get down to work. Finished. Looks like I am too. Good job. Two of us connect up the lines of our patterns, mine being as close a copy as I could manage our pairs. 
with a grunt, I level myself up the floor and look around. You know what would be nice? If I could see like the end product of their, what they just did. That'd be cool, like a picture of it, you know. Aside from Hanako and myself, there's only Kenji left finishing off a sign as well as Lily and a couple of students just talking among themselves in the classroom. Looking at my watch, it's no surprise. It's getting pretty late. Need a hand? I have a hand to Hanako, if she uses to get herself out. As she does, I can't help but glance at the wrist. If her scars extend even to death, just how much of her body was burnt? I feel a pang of guilt about it, however, as she quickly covers her wrist with her other hand. Looks good, doesn't it? She looks surprised for a moment before I notice before noticing that I mean it better. <laughs> Does, I guess. A smile shows that she feels a slight sense of pride in the result, just as I do. With the floor significantly neater for the decorations being placed in desks and shelves, it's much easier to get the lily as we cross the room. We finish the banner. I guess that's all needs to be done. All that needs to be done. Lily gives an appreciative nod. Thank you, yourself, and I go. If there's any way I can thank you, it's fine. I'll be sitting in my room studying at any rate. Mugger. Okay, basically what I just said was mugger and in, in my like school you, or like even in some other schools in my, my country like Singapore, we call muggers um, people who people who study really hard for their exams and like do nothing else but study. They are basically muggers and we call the action mugging. I don't know why we call it mugging. I know like mugging means like stealing stuff but it's just something that we use. It's like a term. I don't mind either. She nods before suddenly remembering one last question. Oh, is Kenji still here? Just as I open my mouth, Kenji gives the answer from the other side of the room. Yeah, just finished. He carefully slides his sign into an empty section of shelf to dry before quickly walking past us and out the door. Alright guys, so <clears throat> that is all for this episode. And I will be stopping right here, so let's just take a moment to save and... Yeah. Um... About yeah, so I'll be I'll be doing I'll be continuing this series. I know I haven't been posting that much of it, but I will continue this series and I'll be at least be completing one full playthrough of it, and then I'll see if I, I have time to complete the rest. Okay, so um, anyways, my exams are in four weeks, so uh, wish me all the best, and I won't be posting as much videos then. I hope you understand. Um. For uh, pre-scheduled uploads, um, if there are any, uh, y if you know what I'm talking about, I will uh, pre-schedule them early. So don't worry, guys. I um, yeah, I need I, I need to study for them. So and uh, I'll be studying to study tomorrow. Or like, I'm uh, finishing up my homework for the holiday today. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.